Slip intercept form is a way of writing the equation of a line that has a, a lot of advantages to it. So here, here's what slip intercept form looks like. It looks like y equals mx plus b, where the m is just a number and the b is just a number. So an example might be y equals 2x plus 5 or something like that. And there's a lot of advantages that I mentioned to writing your equation in this way that we're going to talk about. So let's let's think about it for a minute. Um, if you if you think about it, there's really only two things that are required to uniquely identify a line. One of those things would be where it crosses the y-axis. That would be an important thing to know, and we know that that's called a y-intercept. Now, just knowing the y-intercept isn't quite enough because you could actually have a lot of different lines that go through a particular place on the y-axis and all of these lines are different so that doesn't uniquely identify a line but if you also know the slope of the of your line then that would uniquely identify a line because think about it if uh, if you if you knew the slope of your line looks like this but it had to go through this place on the y-axis there's only one line that can do that you might have other lines that have the same slope like these but they would not have the correct y-intercept and as I drew a little while ago you can have different lines that have the right y-intercept but may not have the right slope and so having both of these guys in conjunction with one another that's going to uniquely identify a line now here's the good news here's the good news if your line is written in this format specifically you can automatically read off what the slope is and what the y-intercept is without doing any work. And that's so nice. Um, the m, this number, the coefficient of the x, that's gonna be the slope of your line. And so if it's 2x, then the slope of your line will be two. If it says negative 5x, the slope will be negative five. And this number here, the second term that doesn't have the x, this is going to indicate your y-intercept and so you can quickly and easily read off the two necessary pieces of information you need to graph any line you don't have to make a table you don't have to find x and y-intercepts you don't need test points you don't need anything you just look at the equation and it's done and so this is by far the preferred way to graph linear equations is to use slope intercept form just because it's so fast so let, let's look at an example here. So here I've got an equation. It is written in slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Let's see if we can read off the necessary information. All right, what's the m? What, what's the slope of this line? Well, it's the coefficient of x, which means the slope is negative two. And let's see if we can also read off the y-intercept. So where does this guy cross the y-axis? It crosses at 5, which of course is 0, 5. And so here's your y-intercept, and here's your slope. And I went ahead and, and graphed this on the calculator just to convince you that this is, is in fact the case. Look over here at the graph. Where does it cross the y-axis? Well, sure enough, it crosses at 5. And uh, also look at this. From the y-intercept, you can go down to over 1, and you're at another point on the line. Now, what am I doing there? Well, look at the slope here. Negative two is an integer, but as you well know, any, any integer you could write as that number over one, right? Like five is five over one and seven is seven over one. Negative two is negative two over one. And slope, as we know, indicates the rise between two points compared to the run. And sure enough, we go, down to over one you can go down two more over one again and sure enough it has the, that correct slope slope of negative two and it has the correct y-intercept so um, it's just so nice that we could read this information off so quickly and easily now I do want to make one caution before we end this video the equation has to be written very very specifically as y equals mx plus b before you can start talking about what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. 
So let, let me let me show you one example. Uh, let's say you had let's say you had two uh, x plus three y equals mm, I, I don't know uh, twelve or something like that. It's very tempting to look at this and automatically say, oh, the coefficient of x, the slope is two, and the y-intercept is twelve or something like that. Well, in fact, that's not true. For this line, 2 is not the slope, and 12 is not the y-intercept. What, what we must do first is solve for y. If you haven't solved for y, then you can't talk about the slope and the y-intercept. So let's do this first. Let's subtract 2x to the right-hand side, so minus 2x plus 12. And you notice right off the bat, moving the x to the right-hand side turned it negative, which is different than it was. And let's divide both sides by 3, because even, even right here, negative 2 is not the slope, and 12 is not the y-intercept, because it's not y equals, it's 3y equals. So we have to be careful about that. So let's divide both sides by 3. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 12 divided by 3, which is 4. Well, now, now we're done, because now we have y equals, very specifically, mx plus b. So the m is negative 2 thirds, and the b, or the y-intercept, is 4. So just remember that you have to solve for y and put it in slope-intercept form before you start talking about the slope and the y-intercept. Now I am aware in this video we have not talked a lot about if you have something written in slope-intercept form, how do you actually go about graphing it? I'm aware of that. Um, just for time's sake, just to keep this video short, we're just going to go and stop this here. I think this is a good introduction to what slope-intercept form means. And then the next video we'll talk about how we graph lines using slope-intercept form.